this inverter is not inverting. It's not working. It's not turning on. Let's find out why. Alright, what do we got? That comes off. These slide off, but they can stay on for now. I see a fuse in it right there, yeah, right in here, and I saw two fuses, no, four fuses over in here. So I think that's the first thing we should look at is the fusing. Um, this is on silicone, I think. So this whole thing might have to lift off in order to even get to those fuses. Well, that's annoying. All right, let's dig deeper. Okay, we'll take the heat sink off. Now we can see the fuse is good. Uh, let's do a continuity test, see if the fuses are okay. So one here, underneath here, here and here. Hmm. We might have blown fuses. I think we do. Oh, it's gonna be a good fix. Let's take those fuses out. blown fuse all across all these 40 amp fuses I should have those yeah I got four of them so I'm gonna put these in well it's nice to have an easy fix looks like it's just the fuses I'm confident so once I get these back in I'll reassemble the whole thing and I'm gonna test it with a 12 volt DC power pack. I don't have a 12 volt battery, so it'll essentially do the same. You don't really want to run an inverter off that though. It's, uh, I think 12 volts 5 amps is the one I have. So I'll put the last one in here, reassemble, and we'll give it a retest. Okay, got it all back together. I'm gonna set up this power brick. It's a 12 volt, five amp power brick, just for testing. You should never run an inverter off something like this. The minimum input voltage for this to run something is 161 amps at 12 volts. So only for testing, see if it comes on, see if the screen turns on, and then um, we know she's fixed. All right, let's plug it in. Oh, saw some lights. Hey, look at this. It works. <laughs> Amazing. I'll have to get this hooked up to some batteries at some point. All right, if you guys found this helpful, leave me a comment. And I hope I earned your subscription today. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.